All right, mud lovers, all aboard the Gold Bus, as Sean and I invite you to join us on our annual pilgrimage to Bonnie Scotland in search of her elusive gold. This is our third year now, and we have never failed to find the gold. And this year, we had the help of a new friend, Mark, who you'll meet later. So sit back, relax, and see what the adventure brings. Coming up... Our friend Matt has found some gold. Nice oh, that's a nice piece. Hey, love it. <laughs> Wowza. <laughs> Look at that. Lovely. You can see the silver as well, mm -hmm. can't you? What's so funny? <laughs> this is what a delirious man on gold fever looks like. Poor mud lovers after a pretty long drive, but non eventful. A few diversions. We made it up in Bonnie, Scotland. Uh, we're going to meet up with my mate Mark tomorrow. He's going to show us around, do some sniping and some metal detecting. Now, the funny thing is, I didn't bring my whole detector. I repaired it, but I didn't bring the end bit. So, me and Sean have just gone into the woods <laughs> to find some wood that we can whittle down and make at the end of a detector. I'll tell you what, if my head wasn't screwed on, I'd have forget that as well. But you can't remember everything. You're always going to forget one thing, but why has it got to be a crucial part of a metal detector? Anyway, let's fix it. <laughs> So here we have said metal detector, but the bit that goes in there, I forgot because I was too busy fixing this because this kept coming loose. So we've been down and we've got some sticks. This is gonna be the dowel. So yeah, hopefully this will work. It's not pretty, but it does the job. Push crafting for metal detectors. There we go. <laughs> One half is done. And luckily, Sean's got a drill. Dowel. Hmm, right, moment of truth. Yes, the chick is born. Okay, she's a bit floppy, but I can just uh, <laughs> put some gaffer tape in there. But it's definitely, definitely what? That'd be fine, that'd be fine, yeah, cool. Behold, the chick. You heard it here first, guys. Be careful how you pronounce that. Let's go show Sean my chic. What a chic. Oh, look at that. Look, right? have, you, have you even engraved it? Oh, wow. Uh, oh, the chic. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a shaft is... and it's a stick. It's a chic. That's superb engineering, mate. Thank you. You just need to sort of fix the uh, swinginess of it. Well, actually, when it's, when it's down on the ground, it's not it sort bad. of does all right, look. Yeah, I mean, bit, a little bit of tape, mate, and uh, yeah, we might, super, we might, we might take that up. Super gaffer, but the shit, well, the shit likes to be left pure. And it's, you've got no metal interference. That's that's the. Uh, it's wood. It's you know, it's perfect. I know it's environmentally friendly and as well. It's it's, uh, it's not going to snap on you. You're quite confident. No. <laughs> <laughs> and this year the midges can try, but I'm prepared. Do your worst, midges. Well, here we are on the gold trail, getting some luck in the burns again this year. Hey, Finn, Sean, you up for it? I am, mate. I'm seriously up for it. Um, long walk ahead, as yeah. usual. And uh, see what's on the other end, eh? Exactly. Nothing comes easy in this game, especially no. with gold panning. This river's changed a lot since so, we were here last. Last year we got, you got a gram. Yes. Sean got a gram, I got a 0.3 or 4 of a gram. So that's our target to beat. This year, if we, if we can beat, if I can beat my target, I'll be happy, and I think, I think we should do it. Especially if we could do it in one day, that would be fantastic. Yeah, so we're only for two days. I think last year was it, was it three days last year? Yeah. So we've got a bit of a refined trip today. So, see if we can find some gold in them there hills. Yay! 
It's not bad for a man who's um, got his finger in half. <laughs> and I don't play the mandolin. <laughs> Today we are joined by Mark from goldwires.co.uk and his girlfriend Ashley and their pal Matt, who between them have found a fair amount of gold, so we are in very capable hands. All right, mud lovers, welcome to Scotland. Well, Mark's jumped straight in. And he's back out. <laughs> It's Bigfoot. Hello. <laughs> well, my lovers, here we are. First little spot to try. Got a guy out there called Matt. He's just showing us a few little spots, and I think Sean's way up there. Yeah, just getting there. I've got my wetsuit on. Very tight, as it has to be. And uh, yeah, let's go and see what we can find. Our friend Matt has nice found thing. some gold. Nice oh, that's one. a nice piece. Piece is. Quite a few in there yet. I haven't even washed the pan back yet. That's just literally what's just showing up. Oh, gorgeous. That might be a point one of a gram. Yeah, not as big as that. It'd be about 0 0.05. <laughs> it's, the gold's quite light in here because it's so flat. Yeah. That's good though. Good sign. Yeah. We're on the gold, baby. First few hours of day one and we were on the gold. It's because we've been uh, guided by these wonderful experts, you see. <laughs> Matt, well, our other expert. Mark has uh, gone off sniping somewhere. It's probably the finest a nice little spot, but I've had some gold coming up, look. So there we have, look, we've got some gold. It, it starts going crazy. Yeah! yeah. Gravel, run it. Right. I'm going to snipe that up and put that in my bottle. Yeah, yeah. Oh, lovely, that's a nice little, little clanger. That'll do. Beautiful. Mmm, happy days. Oh, that gives you the... Uh, Motivation to carry on. All right, guys, we have some nice sized gold there. Oh, that's just the first bit. First bit in the pan there, so I reckon that's what might be one of many. I'm going to suck it up so I don't lose it. Sean, you having fun? Yeah, mate. Got concentration. <laughs> He must be happy because he's got gold. Yeah. No. There's another one dropped down the back there, but I'll, I'll get that out soon. That's a nice little pan there, brother. It's not bad, is it? Lovely stuff. Yeah. I think there's one down there. Four or five all. flakes. Maybe in five there. or six. Hopefully, yeah. Beautiful. Well, I've just got a nice little flake. Come and have a look. There she is. That was just the only, the only one in that uh, that pan there, oddly. But that's nice enough. Go and snuff her, all heads up. Well, mud lovers, this is wonderful Mark, and he's been gold hunting now for how many years? Um, 13 years. 13 years. 13 years. And as you can tell by his wonderful accent, he's from Scotland, so he knows these areas really well. And he's got a website called goldwise.co.uk, isn't that right? I do indeed. And so uh, he puts some of the wonderful pieces of gold in these wonderful little packets, and you can do some uh, panning at home, which I've tried and it's really good. It is. Yeah. So you got you got some other things as well you're going to sell in there, haven't you? I have you the shop? tourmaline on my shop. Oh yeah, nice. I have some little key rings to make your gold look bigger. <laughs> yeah, they're really cool. Actually, have you got that? Did you bring Luger? Uh, no. Oh, you I forgot. I have as well. I forgot half of my detector <laughs> and some other bits and nice. Mark, Mark forgot half of his stuff. Oh, Sean's happy he's got a pan. But as I understand it, Mark's going to go upstream and do some sniping. Mm -hmm. We're having a bit of fun here panning, so if he finds anything worth us joining in with the sniping, because we're all wet suit up here, so uh, it'll be rude not to stick our heads in there for a bit of a look. Yeah, we'll so we're going to follow the master if he, uh, if he does find a little hot spot. It might just be flakes here, flakes there, but we might get our heads in the water with the snorkel, so that should be fun. So yeah, go and check out uh, goldwise.co.uk for all your gold, gold needs. Is that right? <laughs> I'm just going to have a Sean because he's getting excited. Oh yeah, nice bab, nice one. Look at that. That's a great pan. That's a clanger in there. Yeah, they're pretty good, aren't they? They're lovely, man. They're the biggest ones I've had so far, and there's about ten in there. Flipping heck. Yeah. So well done, well done. Not a bad spot. Very nice, sir. Well done. Suck it up. Buttercup.
Oh, that's a nice one. That's a There's a bit more under there. Ooh. Oh, there's quite a few bits there, you can see. Needs a little bit more work. I reckon you should refine it down a little more. Yeah. See, oh, look, yeah, there's some good size ones yeah, as well. Look at that, it was Constellation. Woohoo! Yeah, boy. Good one. Hey, love it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good pan, mate. Good pan. That giggle can only mean one thing. <laughs> Look at that. Look at them bad boys. Oh. They're big ones. They're nice Should sized flakes. Should we see if it's a clanger? You can try. I doubt it though. It looks a bit small, mate. Can't even pick it up. I can lose my flake. Ready? No. Hold on. Oh, I, I, think I heard had, something. Yeah, I think we'll go to the audio. We'll go to the audio replay. Yeah, I think you might have to slow that down a bit. <laughs> oh, look, there's a bigger one over there. Oh, wow. Yeah. Just come out. Oh, yeah, what a pan, what a pan. That's a good pan, isn't it? I'm going to call you Peter Pan. Peter Pan? Peter Pan. That's so funny. <laughs> this is what a delirious man on gold fever looks like. What you got, Sean? What you got? Uh, I've got some yeah. g -g 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 gold. Wow. Yeah, that was worth it, wasn't it? Yeah. That's a beauty. Yeah. I'm mm -hmm. sure that'll clang. Should we just do the clanger test? You do it, mate, because I've got clubbies on. Oh, is look at that. Is it full fat? Full fat, mate. Full fat full milk. Full fat. Gold. It looks a bit thin to me. Well, so you just bent it. Is, I didn't bend it. You, you just bent it. Bent it. <laughs> Clang. Oh, yes, yes, baby. Well done, man. And the rest yeah. of the pan's bloody good as well. well not bad, is it? Jesus. <laughs> Look at that, baby. Suck it up, buttercup. <laughs> Sean reckons he's lost all his gold because he's... Is it homemade? No. It's homemade... Uh, it's not homemade. <coughs> everything else is. This isn't homemade. This is... <clears throat> he bought it from the turkey baster factory. <laughs> anyway, we just... Sean just had a great, great, fantastic, best pan I think I've seen since we've been doing this. And uh, I've got a nice little flake myself. Come and have a look. Yeah. Happy with that. That's the biggest one for me today. I've still got all this to sort out. We'll get that up the, up the snuffer. <laughs> and see what else is in the pan. It's a good sign though. Well, best pan of the day for me. Yeah, probably 20 colors in there. Beautiful. Top pan, mate. Top pan. Might even be a few more under there. Oh, that's loads in there, loads in there. I can't believe it. I reckon that had 30 flakes in there. Ha oh, yes. So, Sean, you had a little driver with your uh, bulb, right? Well, I, yeah, I think it was leaking. So, well, it was definitely leaking water. But I don't know why, so I've stopped using it for the moment. Well, I've not, I've emptied it. I don't know where it is, actually. <laughs> where is it? I think you left it over there. No, I didn't. I brought it back here. <laughs> is that it floating down the stream? <laughs> Seriously, where is it? I don't know. Where did you where did you last have it? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> There's nothing in it. <laughs> no, because it <laughs> But I didn't want to lose it. Because that was leaking, right? And yeah, you think yeah. all your gold might have poured out. Well, there was lots of water pouring out, so I'm just hoping it's not broken around the seal here because yeah. it's brand new, you know? But you decanted it, didn't you, into your, into, your little, into your little snuffer, so let's hope you haven't lost any. No, well, if I have, I have, so... The Intrepid Adventure has returned. Mark. And we're going to see what he's found. Apparently it's pretty good. Oh, my off. Yeah, man. Bloody hell. Oh, wow. <laughs> nice one, Mark. Flipping it, man. Yeah, put that to shame. <laughs> yeah, tell you what a spot like that. That was yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was 
Really? Was there more like that there then? Was there more areas there that you think you could get? Mm, maybe. Was it just a lucky little spot? Yeah, I think it was just a lucky spot. That's what I've done at the time. But there's silver in here, so I need to be careful. This, ladies and gentlemen, is why he is the expert. I'm the expert. He's gold king of Scotland. <laughs> A lucky day. Is that silver? Silver look at. Oh yeah, I see. Oh wow. Yeah, wow. And it has got some black on it, hasn't it? Yeah, as well. That's one of them. So that's, that's, that's like a little work of art. It's pretty, is it? Yeah, yeah man. And again, it's got some sort of tarnishing rust almost on the back. It is. It's like iron stained. <clears throat> Lovely. Never seen raw silver before. No. You know that that big. They could actually make a pendant of that, couldn't you? Probably, oh. yeah. It's pretty cool. I see patterns and stuff in it. Anyway, back to the back main to event. The <laughs> Is it here? No, it's not. I dropped it. <laughs> Must have left it back there. Yeah. Is it gone? It's here as well. They didn't like, No, it's you know hematite or magnetite. Right. <clears throat> there was huge bits up there. Yeah, I had a big lump. They don't like moving, do they? No. Got a quick look and see. Wowza. <laughs> look at that. Lovely. You can see the silver as well, mm -hmm. can't you? It's quite yeah. a lot, isn't there? Mm -hmm. Silver. What a mark. Yeah, Thank man. Very much. A bit of lead as well, then. Yeah, there's some lead as well, but yeah. once I clean it up. So, was it like, was the spot like below a water feature, like a waterfall mm. or a, rock, a boulder? Yeah, water, <clears throat> waterfall. Mini waterfall that got high up off, just dropped, and then the water was right, going it, back up. It's yeah, it was going back up soon, right. which made it so hard to clean. Silver. Lovely. I'll put this back in your pan for you. I think that's the biggest bit I got. Yeah. It's a ring, didn't it? <laughs> I thought it was a nail. But it's definitely silver, yeah. I think. Yeah, it's black and silver. Mm -hmm. Looks very similar to the other bit. That's right. But a few um, nice big ones. Thank you very much. Well done. Beautiful. Indeed. How much do you think there? If he was to guess, uh -huh, I don't know. It's over a gram, isn't it? Probably four, maybe five. Really? Yeah. Well, weigh it up and let us know. I will do. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. Well done again, Mark, for an incredible haul in a very short amount of time. Check out Mark's gold collection with some cracking nuggets in there. So we're comparing a. Uh, our meager efforts now. Where is it all? Oh, it's in the top. Sand, so, look where what? Ooh. Ooh. Well, it's pretty even. I think, I think it's I even. Think, I think Sean yeah. might have edged it. I don't know. Mm. Not bad, is it? Yeah, where's my sister? I lost some. I do feel like I lost some. Have you got silver? There's not those uh, big flakes on there, so. Si. That's a nice one. Yeah. Nice thing, but. Yeah, you've lots of plates there. Yeah, I, I think I've lost some. Oh, that old chestnut. No, honestly, <laughs> I think I've lost some. Yeah. Well, fantastic day one. Yeah. Yeah, really good. Mm. I mean, yeah, come back to it again tomorrow. For day two. Stay tuned. So it's bright and early on day two. Me and Sean are just packing up, ready to go for another day on the river. Get some gold. So, uh, we're gonna bike it today. We brought the bikes with us, they're on the back of the van. It was a bit hairy. 
Cole's, uh, Sean's got this nice little um, droppy thing. Because this used to be an actual bus, right? So we, we had the bikes on here. But they seem to survive, so yeah. Let's get packed up and get down the river. You got your mozzie hat? Yeah. <laughs> Aren't going to eat us today. That's one thing I've, I, I wish I'd had yesterday. <laughs> Just for spooning out. You know, oh, right, yeah. I'm going to take a teaspoon. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. More contraptions. <laughs> Cold, God. So, yesterday was quite a successful day, really. I think between us, we got quite a, quite a few flakes. I think Sean might have done a bit better than me. So, yeah, it's all to play for today. Bit going in fairly even. So, we might try a bit of sniping. Mark's not here. He's taught us a few tricks. So, we're going to go out and venture on our own. Many hills, man. <laughs> so we've arrived at our site for day two on a bit of an inside bend. Sean's doing a bit of prospecting after a grueling two mile bike ride up some very steep hills as Sean can attest to. Uh, yeah, we'll see what's in the first pan, shall we? See what I was doing there? Scraping it all into this here hole. Yeah. And out the crack into that hole and sucking it up from in there. Oh, nice method. Yeah, that's what I was doing yesterday. Just loosening it all up and it just washes in there. Oh. Get in there, suck the f up. Oh. No nuggets! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's some gold. I thought I did. Is it just me, Ka? My Ka? Oh no, look, I need yeah. her. It is heavy, that black sand, man. It ain't moving, look. Yeah. But is there anything under it? No. no. Not even micro poop, man. There, there. Maybe it's further in. Not good. Don't know, look sexy. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> right, as you can guess, we're going to get in the water and see if we can find any gold. I don't, I'm not, I'm not holding much hope, but we've got to get in there. We said we'd do it, so let's go. Oh, and ordered a, ordered a gold sucky bottle, but uh, it didn't turn up, did it? It was a bank holiday in Scotland, so the company that was going to send it were a day late and I missed out. But Sean made me this contraption using a squeezy ketchup bottle and a straw. So let's see if we could. Get some gold in the hole. Oh yes, get a good seal. <laughs> get your tools, got your stuff. Go on in mate, in you go. Just watch that current. Oh, it's lovely. So I'm not sure exactly what areas to look in. Armed with only a rock hammer and an empty ketchup bottle, which still smells slightly tomatoey, I struggled to work out where the hotspots might be. Mark seemed to land on one yesterday, so we might too. In hindsight, I wish I'd followed Mark yesterday and got some more pro tips. But as our trip was short, I really wanted to stay with Sean on the gold spot that we initially found with the help of Matt. You found a rock! <laughs> so using some of Mark's videos as reference, we cleared the cracks of rock and gravel, but we failed to find any nuggets.
Yeah, it's hard work. I think we need to find another spot. Come on, pan number. Whatever. Three. I found a uh, piece of my car in the um, when I was sniping, and I thought it was a Roman denarii. And it's so it's just <laughs> they like, do, like it. Yeah, uh, they have got character. Don't they? So I stuck it in the ketchup bottle, thinking we <laughs> yeah. never know. This is my uh, river denarii. It's just like a coin. I feel I can even see a face on it. Haha. <laughs> but it's just natural. Perfect shape though for a Roman. No, I don't think it's any good here. Well, not no. every not every spot's a hot spot, and that's part of uh, prospecting. Uh, we were lucky yesterday, but not so far today, not great. But we've tried sniping, and I quite like it. Apart from when you get over the cold, it's quite it's quite enjoyable. I just haven't seen any gold while sniping, so you know you can't you can't jump straight in and win. So you've got to keep going. Keep trying, keep getting blank pans. It's a micro dot there, I saw, I think. That was it. Eventually, I don't, know where, it, don't but... know where it was, but I saw one and then it just switched around. Yeah, this ain't the place. It's not the place. No, it's not the place. I just want to see it again before I throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> So after about an hour of unsuccessful sniping, we had a quick cup of tea using the warm water from our wetsuits <laughs> and then went back to yesterday's spot. Well, we've come back to the place we were yesterday and uh, got a little flake. It's going slow so far, uh, but keep on going, keep on going. First little flake of the day. Tiny. I'm sure we can do better than that. Pan number two. A few flakes there. Okay, size flake there. Do you mind? And Sean has had a lovely little pan. It's not bad. Not yeah, bad. there's a nice one in the top left there. And there's something like a couple of spots yeah. wound, coming yeah. round as well. So I'll take suck all that. Yeah, and suck it, baby. possibly a silver. We don't know what that little light one is. Ah. Could be lead. Maybe. Oh, well, we've got a nice little flurry of gold in the pan now. Things are getting better. And the sun's come out as well, so it's looking nice and mighty fine. Can you see the gold in the sun? Yes, it's Scotland and the sun's come out. Look, I'll even prove it. There it is. <laughs> so the gold is looking mighty fine in the pan. Not coming as thick and fast as yesterday, but I don't mind. And that one looks like a little pair of lips. Mwah. So yeah, I was just uh, getting some joy out of this bit here. And look who's come done done some claim jumping. <laughs> get out of my hole, boy! <laughs> claim jumpers. How'd you get rid of these little tykes? Although yesterday he'd argue that I was in his in his claim. Absolutely he was. So uh, yeah, we don't mind sharing our little holes. <laughs> to be honest, it takes ages to go across these, so it's all good. Well, Sean's gone off that way, and uh, I thought I'd have a little go here. Such a klutz right earlier. Well, I think the last pain you saw, I thought I'd sluiced it, sucked it up, sorry, into the snuffer bottle, and then I picked it up and threw, threw the water, threw all the uh, gold out. What a numpty. And almost stepped on this pan, coming to show you guys this lovely flake I've just had. So, it's pretty much the best flake of the day. And almost lost it, look. It's right at the top there, should be there, should be down there. And yeah, I stepped on the pan, and it went upside down. Luckily, it's stuck to the side. Phew! Just picked a little picker right out of uh, the creek. That's pretty cool. A bit hard to get on my finger, but I got there in the end. One for the pot, don't lose it. Sci finds one, midges nil. Is there one inside here? Oh. So a little waterfall over there is really cool. Uh, it sounds like someone's got some music on in the, in the distance. See if you can hear it. Well, either I'm hearing things, or that does actually sound like a party in the background. Uh, well, maybe I'm getting a fever. <laughs> Gold fever. Who's got the best uh, mozzie hat? Not quite like, well, 
Mine's like cooler. Straw boater. Mine's yeah. actually just a hat with a thing over the top. Over yeah. You've got a very like mine's cool. like a little helmet, isn't it? Helmet. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> 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 yeah, it is military, isn't it? Yes. Well, day two. Uh, it wasn't great to be honest. Found a few flex and specs. We had a good time, but um, yeah. we'll do a little bit more tomorrow, and then have a little tally up and see who's got the most gold, which I think is probably going to be Sean. But the spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> What's for dinner, Sean? Food! <laughs> <laughs> Any particular type of food? We've got steak, pepper oh. sauce, mushrooms, sauteed potatoes. That's about it, isn't it? <laughs> That's but, good enough. Yeah, sounds, <clears throat> sounds, sounds like it's going to be I love it. Oh, that. pepper sauce. You said that. Did I? Yeah, we've got two, lo two lots. Yeah, yeah this two is lots a, of it's a very beautiful little restaurant we've got here. Bing! So, uh, yeah, can't wait to eat. Earn it. He treats me well, he does. What's up? Oh, look at that. Only because you're all dying to see what it looked like. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, Get him up. It's, it's not the most wonderful, pleasing aesthetically, but, you know, I'm sure it's going to taste all right. Yeah, that's the main thing. Yeah. Get in my belly. So third and final morning, we're just setting up. Sean's getting his gear out, so am I. Let's hope for a few flakes of gold. Well, after trying, yeah, we're not having much luck here today. I mean, the sun's out and we're beautiful uh, surroundings, but we're not getting any gold. Which is what we're here for. We, we are prospecting today because we don't want to come too far because basically where we went yesterday is a really long uh, hike. So we didn't want to go too far from the car because we've got a long journey home. So we come out and just did, did some prospecting, but no real luck. I, I found a thing in my pan, it looks like gold at the start, but I think it might just be some sort of um, natural little stone, but yeah, I'll show you. Yeah, it looks like a little nugget, a little gold nugget, but I'm going to put it under the microscope and see, or, you know, uh, see if there's any, like, I don't know, interesting features of it. It could just be, it could be a little bit of gold mixed in with some iron or something, or an alloy, but yeah, it's, um, it's desperation at this point because we haven't found anything else apart from a few dots which I'm not going to bother showing you and barely even can be asked to scoop, suck it up but never mind. I think we might have to call it a day soon. Still wearing out, bleeding out, aren't you? <laughs> We hate the midges. Well, my lovers, I think we've outstayed our welcome because it's starting to rain. We haven't had any luck today. I think you had a flake, didn't you? One flake and a half. Flake and a half. I had some little dots and that weird little crustacean thing. I'm going to look out under the right scope layer. But anyway, let's see how much we found. And you're going to go home and have a way up. I'll go home and have a way up. And now we're going to see how much gold we did get. I'm pretty sure you won. Uh, I think it's going to be close, mate. I think it's going to be close. But we'll see. Yeah. But we've had a great time here, mate. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we'll be yeah. back. We've done some prospects, we've learned a lot of stuff, so uh, hopefully we'll do it again soon. Well, well we definitely will do it again soon. Yeah. More. Hopefully find a better um, spot. Yeah, for, yeah I mean, we, we had two good days. Well, a day and a half of good. Yeah. And, and a day of poor. So it's yeah. not too bad. Yeah, evens itself out. On balance, it's been pretty good. Um, but yeah, next time we'll probably come for longer than two and a half days to make it more worthwhile. But yeah, Let's see how much we got. Hello. Come see me gold, have you? 
No low this year, I'm afraid, mate. You have to go hungry. That's right. We always afford to feed you, can't we? Yay. Well, gold lovers, the uh, gold is there, all dried up in the frying pan. Use this for making halloumi, so apologies if you see any bits of uh, food on it. <laughs> Hopefully they won't end up on the scales. So let's weigh her up and see what we got. Last year we had 0.36, year one was just a point one of a gram, but hopually we can beat 0.36. However, we was there for about four days last year and this year we've only done two and a half. So um, it will be a bit unfair to test the totals. It might be worth working out a daily average rather than in total. Anyway, here we go. Stay on. Why is it turned off halfway through? I think the batteries must be going down. Gordon Bennett. Not point four grams. Four point four one. Love it. That is a record beating year for me. Only by point. 0.04 of a gram but we're going in the right direction and we was only there for two days the last time we was there for a lot longer so a great ratio of about 0.2 grams a day okay i'm never gonna retire off it but we're making progress and as you can see there there's some really nice pieces of gold some nice little flakes there so in my eyes that's a successful trip because we also had a great laugh now let's see how sean did last year he got one gram Okay, the moment of truth. Not point seven three grams, nearly three quarters of a gram. Not bad, not quite as good as last year. Let's see if my big nugget, nugget, <laughs> Lake weighs it on the, uh, on the old scales. Point oh nine, so nearly point one of a. Oh, going up like yours. Point one of a gram. I'll take that. Ten of them being a gram. I'll take that. Sweet. Good effort, Sean, and a lovely looking flake there, dear boy. Watch this video next and you'll see where me and Sean went out on our first ever gold trip to Scotland and it was full of drama, suspense and a little bit of gold and a few mishaps along the way. So go and check out this video and I'll see you on the next Mud Adventure, which will probably be back on the good old Thames of London town.